Around 5 a.m. local time on Saturday, Israeli counter-terrorism units arrested two more of the six escaped Palestinian prisoners in a lorry park east of the town of Nazareth. A tip-off from a local resident reportedly led to the capture of Mohammed al arde a member of Palestinian Islamic Jihad, and Zakaria Zubaydi, the highest-profile escapee, a former leader of Fatah's armed wing, the Al-Aqsa Martyrs Brigade. Zubaydi is reported to have resisted arrest but was unarmed and overwhelmed. An image released by Israeli police showed him with a bruised face. All six of the prisoners come from in or near Jenin, in the north of the occupied West Bank. Mohammed al arda's mother reacted to his arrest. I want the whole world, all organizations, to stand by him, because he's a hero. He's my son. I want him out. I wish for the best, for him to be released. Late on Friday, two other escapees were captured. Yakub Kadri and Mahmoud al arde said to be the mastermind of the escape. All four detained without a shot being fired. Palestinian armed factions had warned of retaliatory attacks if any of the men were harmed. The arrests alone triggered sizable protests across the occupied West Bank. From Gaza, a rocket was fired, intercepted by Israel's anti-missile system. The extraordinary escape through a shower room floor into void space under one of Israel's most secure prisons was an enormous embarrassment for Israel's security machine and celebrated as a victory by Palestinians. Israel's effort to reverse it has also been huge. Four of the men were serving life sentences for killing Israelis, Zubaydi's on trial for similar charges. The Israeli government warned that they may have been planning fresh attacks with help from the outside. As it played out, the men appeared very much on their own and were captured without the kind of bloodshed that many feared might spark a broader round of violence. That said, the hunt for the remaining two men continues and Palestinians have been angered by a broader crackdown against prisoners since the escape on Monday. This remains a tense situation. Harry Fawcett, Al Jazeera, West Jerusalem.